Puppeteers, descendants of the Temptors. The comet missed the Temptor's planet, and these abominations continued to evolve. The mindless male drones began to specialise on different tasks, splitting into several anatomically differing castes, the affiliation to each determined by their mother's hormonal balances during gestation. The means of controlling crowds of these workers and soldiers grew more and more intricate, until they were guided almost as directly as radio-controlled toy cars. The anthill-like colonies formed by these creatures spread all over the planet, viciously competing with each other and spurring the evolution of intelligence. Soon females from one lineage learned to make their servitors create fire and farm crops, and everything went smoothly from there. The puppeteer civilization consisted, in a sense, solely of feudal lords. Sessile females owned territories around their homes, and cultivated those using swarms of remotely controlled male workers, in the earlier stages of history using systems of tubes transporting pheromones and mechanical dummies, imitating signalling movements, and in later years, by brain-to-brain -brain neural interfaces. A matrilineal clan was the most common political entity in this world, and the healthiest men were often used as currency in international trade. The race progressed quickly, but it quickly met the problem of overpopulation. While there was only a couple thousand queens in the biggest puppeteer city, there were millions upon millions of males, who all had to be fed and sheltered somehow. There was a split between progressives who decided to replace all men with machines, and conservatives who saw them as extensions of their bodies and considered this innovation a transhumanist perversion. The sides went to war with each other, and the transhumanists won by using a genetic weapon that rendered the enemy queens sterile. After that, most of the males were disposed of, read slaughtered, with only a fraction left alive as queens, personal servants and pets. Despite the cruelty, this saved the world from demographic collapse and allowed for the creation of post-scarcity society. Only then could the puppeteers finally afford to explore space and meet their distant post-human cousins. Pictured are two males of different castes belonging to a pre-automation enthusiast, both are heavily modified for their jobs with genetic engineering and mechanical augmentation, and controlled directly by the Queen's brain. The towers seen in the background are the residences of their Queen's relatives, each populated by just one female and a couple hundred servants, mechanical and organic alike. 